So Jupiterans is a fairly common condition which tends to affect people in their sort of late 50s to 60s. People tend to be of Celtic origin. It doesn't tend to affect Pacific Islanders, Asian patients, Indian patients necessarily. I don't think we've ever seen it. But it's very, very prevalent. So Jupiterans tends to cause problems with people that their fingers close down like this and some people think it's due to the tendons. It's actually in front of the tendons. The tendons are very deep in the hand and in front of the tendons is a structure called an aponeurosis, which is a fibrous sheet that covers the whole hand. And that's what gets involved with Jupiterans rather than the tendons. So it's a thickening of that and then shortens and causes the fingers to curl down. Tight squeeze. Yeah. Jupiterans surgery is not generally done under local anaesthetic. My tendency is to do it under full general anaesthetic um, in a full hospital setting. So I operate on probably one or two patients a week with Jupiterans. So it's a common operation to do and a very rewarding and satisfying operation. It takes about 90 minutes but sometimes surgery can take three to four hours depending on the complexity. We close the skin, we don't just close it in a straight line, we have to do little zigzags at each crease so we don't get tight scars and problems. So you might wonder, well when do you need to have surgery for this? Well there's two classic indications for surgery, one is called the tabletop test. So if the situation gets bad enough at this joint that you can't lay your hand flat on a table. And another test is if this joint here gets involved um, because this joint here is not so readily um, corrected with surgery in this joint and the longer the problem goes with this joint the more likely it is that you're not going to get a satisfactory outcome. We know that Jupiterans recurs very commonly. I tend to advise patients that about 5% of people have recurrence within five years. Some people say it's 100% recurrence but people always need to be aware that it may not recur in the same finger but it also might develop in another finger or another hand as well.